Okay, what is your name? My name is Mikkel Beckman. And where do you work at? I'm the Executive Director at St. Stephen's Human Services. Okay, and what do the people who use St. Stephen's Human Services typically ride the bus for? All kinds of reasons. It's the primary way to get around town. Um, for people who are homeless and on the streets, they have to travel quite a bit throughout the city to get services, to see case managers and people who are helping them to get meals, to access mm -hmm. shelter. So it's a primary lifeline for most of our folks. Okay, and how will the 75 cent increase affect St. Stephen's as an agency and the people they serve? Well, it'll affect us both. For one, we spend uh, thousands of dollars to purchase transportation for our clients. For example, we have an employment program that we spend quite a bit of money for people who get interviews and who are waiting for a first paycheck, uh, we provide transportation for them. So it simply means we're going to be able to provide less rides in an annual basis than we've been able to right now. Or we'll have to try and figure out a way to find more funds and divert them from other programs right. to take care of transportation needs for folks. And I think for the folks um, who use the services, obviously people with very low incomes, that's a major increase for them in the amount they spend. We're all spending more on, on uh, getting around town, what with the uh, cost of uh, energy these days, but for folks at the very bottom of the economic mm -hmm. spectrum here in town, mm -hmm. it's going to have a pretty devastating impact. And uh, it's also going to limit people's ability to escape their circumstances, and it's just going to mean higher costs elsewhere in the system. If people are stuck in shelter longer, right. that's a county-funded, property tax-funded service that's going to cost all of us more money. Mm -hmm. If people have a harder time getting jobs, they're going to be on the streets longer, which has mm -hmm. a devastating impact on the local emergency service system, which is very expensive to operate, mm -hmm. which will really have a problem with the capacity issues and expansion of, of shelter systems and expansion of jail and detox and emergency mm -hmm. room settings and just right. a big waste of resources. Right. So it'll have a pretty major impact. The last time there was disruptions in transportation with the bus strike several years ago, mm -hmm. the shelters filled almost immediately because people just couldn't get to their jobs and get to other places. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it really is the lifeline for people who are at the lower end of their economic status here. Great. Thank so, you. Yeah.